Hello and welcome to another tip video here from Zanata Consulting. Uh, my name is Tyler Colt and this video is actually taken as an excerpt from our full product tutorial on Zoho CRM that we did in February of 2023. In this video, we're going to be walking through some of the new features and focuses within CRM for last year and the upcoming year. Those are going to include some Zia functionality, the Canvas tool designer, as well as some admin tools for cleaning up your backend flows. Before we jump in, I wanna ask if you do find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave those in the comment section as we do try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Alrighty, so there have been many, there have been many, many new features. I'm gonna cover three that we kind of like in particular and that we wanna call your attention to because it kind of focuses for Zoho as they continue to grow. Uh, I'm gonna start right out of the gate with Canvas View. Um, we actually haven't done too much content on Canvas View, but it's essentially a way that they've added within CRM to completely customize how a particular record looks and how you interact with it. Um, this is something that's really, really unique within Zoho CRM. Um, I don't think I've I've seen any other CRM products that really have this level of UI customization. Um, so let's say I want to do one for accounts. I'm actually going to use those instead of deals just to change it up a little bit. Uh, you can have different canvas views per layout. We just have our one. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. <clears throat> this is going to open us into our canvas editor. Now I'm just going to do that 30,000 foot view on this, uh, you know, be respectful of everyone's time. There's definitely something you're going to need to dig in and play around with a lot on your own. Um, but as I go to get started, right, it's going to show me some potential templates that I can use to create my account view. So here we'll see this looks really, really different, right, versus our normal account, right? If I just jump in on this side and pull up any of these, let's go with King here. We can see, right, here's our normal view. And here's what Canvas view is saying that this could look like, right? Or it could look like this or, you know, any different way, right? That you might want this record to appear. Maybe you really like notes, right? And you want to kind of highlight timeline and notes. Um, all that is fair game within Canvas view. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one because I kind of like it. I like the green. Um, maybe that's just my bias. I'm going to select this just so I can show you real quick some of the options within here. So again, as you can see, a lot on the page, right? We're not going to go down all this. But on the left, we're able to define what should show up. So any of those fields that we want to have available, as well as any related lists. So we can put our deals in here, our contacts. Uh, we can create different kind of sections and elements, different styling elements. So if we want certain color coding, images, patterns, fonts, everything there. Uh, we can create our own components so we can reuse and kind of re repurpose as we go. And then all of this is editable just via kind of a drag and drop interface, right? So if I want to put the calls, maybe I decide that uh, I kind of like contacts more important than the calls, right? I can just go ahead and move those up, right? Everything will kind of snap together just like that. And then I can make this maybe my standard canvas. Again, obviously, this could be its whole own webinar, right? This is a, a really deep and uh, fully fleshed out feature. Highly recommend taking a look. Um, one thing I'll note is that when you have a Canvas view uh, activated, um, you'll need to kind of select it, right? And it'll save your selections here. But down at the bottom, way at the bottom of the page, I'll see that I can actually flip over to our standard Canvas. And now that record is just right away reformatted um, into that view that I had. And, you know, when this in initially released, we didn't recommend using it too much. It had some issues with screen responsiveness, um, as well as they didn't have any templates. So you had to start from scratch, which was just a lot, right, to get on the page. But now that they're much more responsive and um, you've got that bank of templates at your fingertips, highly, highly recommend that you take a crack at Canvas View, um, if for nothing else, then to flex your design muscles a little bit. Um, another one that they've added, and this is really good if you've been using CRM for a long time. So those of you that are poking your head in here because um, you don't like how your CRM is working and, and you're going to try to make some improvements, Admin Tools is very, very useful for that. Um, it's essentially a way that we can filter out things in the system that are not being used and delete them. 
right? So I'll go ahead and open up, let's say, custom views, for example. Um, Brett quickly mentioned it, but I'll just show just again to be safe here. Um, these custom views are up here, right? These are our lists and filters that we can apply, right? That um, affect, right? How we're actually going to see the data in the system. Um, so maybe I'll say, I don't know if we have any here. Let me do this quick. We're going to search in our leads. Now I'll do a different type. We'll do templates. So templates instead of views, we'll point over here to our email templates. Um, so, you know, this is something that happens all the time. You've got a million templates. A lot of times we'll log in and we'll see, you know, like, uh, John email one, John email two, John email three, right? And there's 50 John emails and none of them have been used since August of 2022, right? And so we can actually come in here and say, show me all of the email templates. Let's say for our deals module. These are deals, both are. And our criteria. And let's say that last used is before, we'll do a short time frame. let's say like this year. Being a little funky, so we get for doing live walkthroughs. Let's see here. But essentially, these will give you a way to filter out those different things that maybe just aren't being touched, aren't being used within the system. Um, find them all at once and then go ahead and remove them fully um, from the system. So again, as you're kind of doing your spring cleaning, um, you know, maybe the system has changed hands a lot of times. Um, really nice way to just be able to quickly go in and remove things that are not being used in the system. And then lastly, I'll do a real quick run through of this is Zia. The thing to watch for Zoho CRM in 2023 is Zia. Um, Zoho is working really, really hard on building out additional functionality for Zia, which is essentially their little AI tool that lives in here. So it can do things like data enrichment, right? Searching the web for additional info about leads, contacts, and accounts. Pulls that from all different types of sources. Um, it can do prediction type models. Um, these are a little more complicated, but at a high level, let's say we wanted to get prediction running on how lead status might move. Um, you know, let's say that we want to get to contacted and failure states are junk and lost, right? This can actually run in the background, right? And start telling you like, hey, this lead is behaving like one, meaning they're opening emails, they're answering calls, this, that, and the other, right? That are going to line up with getting to this next stage. So it might help with some of your prospecting team doing some focused outreach, right? If we're able to identify that someone is moving in a certain direction. System recommendations essentially will look at things people are doing and suggest automations. Um, workflow suggestions are really cool. So some of those we said earlier, right? Let's say something's in proposal for three days. We want to send a follow-up. Well, if you have a bunch of people doing that manually, all of a sudden one day when you come in here and look at workflows, there will be a little banner at the top that says, hey, do you want to add a workflow where three days after you enter this stage, it sends this email? I've noticed that that's happening a lot, right? So it's going to give you those types of easy recommendations for new system improvements. Communication, really invaluable one. Essentially, it's going to be scanning every call and email to every lead and contact and determining what the best time is for those, right? So if it finds that this contact mostly opens emails from three to five, when you go to email one, it will actually suggest, hey, do you want to schedule this for 315? That's when they're normally in their inbox. Um, some of these last ones, I'll skip over conversational AI um, and vision. We'll go straight to notifications. So notifications are essentially ways that it can look for anomalies, right? So something that hasn't been touched in seven days, um, something where we made a modification to a workflow and now the open rate has gone down a lot, right? So it's essentially looking for things that are outside of our norm, and then putting it on our list. And you know what? We might look at it and go, no, we don't need to address that. That's what we were expecting. But it sure is still nice to know, right? That something is working differently than how things normally work in the CRM. Again, really useful thing if you're growing your team, right? To figure out, is everyone kind of playing by the rules? Is everyone operating the system as we would expect and as we would hope for? So those kind of cover some of those new features. Again, there are a bunch. There's a lot coming for CPQ. Uh, tying in additional business messaging applications. Um, but on our side, those are the three that uh, we just wanted to highlight here at the tail end and put on your radar so that you can keep an eye on how those functionalities continue to grow and improve this year.